we're going to do is we're going to actually cut this apart. I want to use the crown of this hat as the base for my fascinator, okay? So, what I did prior to this, and I did this um, very early this morning so that it would be nice and dry, is I put a really thick coat of chalk paint on the top of this hat. The reason I did that, number one, cover up the, the um, color of the hat. Number two, um, the holes that are in the hat, that chalk paint kind of goes in there and then you can't see through it. I can actually see the chalk paint on the other side where it just kind of settled in there and it's dried really well and it's made it really stiff and easy to work with. We are going to cut this up. Let's so I'm just going to cut up to one of the rows, okay? And this is just kind of the crown of the hat, all right? Because of that. Okay, so here is the hat. Now, it's going to have, because you know it goes around and around and around, you're going to have that little lip right there. We'll fix that. We'll do something with that. I think I want, might want to make it one row smaller. I want to make it one row smaller. What I did is I had a headband that had fabric on it and I took the fabric off the headband. I really don't care what the headband looks like because I'm going to finish that out too. But this is going to go on our hat and it'll be like this. We are going to put a lot of hot glue right here and I want this to be off to the side kind of, okay? So I'm going to get some hot glue. Did I not bring my hot glue sticks up here? A lot of hot glue on this and We are going to set that in there and that's got to set. Can you see how much hot glue I put on there? Quite a bit. And see how I brought it up on the sides? Put a piece of fabric felt over the hot glue so it will hold better. Here we go. Let's see. I'm actually going to do this. Put a little hot glue on that. And then put some hot glue on the center of that. It's about set up now, so that's good. And thank you. That's perfect. We're gonna start with our bling wrap, okay? I'm going with the rose gold and I'm gonna put bling wrap all around the edge of this. I'm gonna start in the back. This is my back. Okay, so I'm gonna start right back here. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue and This hot glue all the way around. Now, okay, so so far that's what we've got. Okay, that's cute just the way it is. Let's do another three rows. Okay, so here's my back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut three rows of the bling to go on the headband. Now, 
we've got all kinds of things we want to put on this. I love, when I think of the Kentucky Derby, I think of the roses, you know, because the rose is the symbol of the Kentucky Derby. Um, I think of the, I'm going to cut this just a little short so that it's not going, see there was the fabric that I cut off, but I don't want this part to be right behind my ear, so I'm cutting it just a little short. And right, so, so see, that just makes that a little bit prettier. <clears throat> so this is what you're going to be able to see. Okay, let me see. This is my back. So if I wanted it to be like that, it could be like that. But some flowers. Look at how pretty these little flowers are. These are from Michael's, guys. I have. Um, some feathers. Some feathers. And I have some organza fabrics. Like so. Okay? Like that. Okay, I'm just going to pop these flowers right off of the stems. Do not think I want more than three of those, but we'll keep those close by just in case. These are also Michaels. These were like little picks. I got these for 50% off and they were $1.99, guys. Isn't that crazy? Okay, I'm gonna just pull those off and then I'm gonna pull some of these white ones off also. They're... Okay, so what I want to do, I have to turn her around to me, guys, just to get an idea. Okay, I've got this fabric, and I think I need to do this first. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece, and I'll measure it after I get done. I'll measure it just to give you an idea. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm still going to use a little bit more of that, but I'm going to put a line of glue right here. It's okay that it's not fabric glue. I'm just putting some glue because I want to tuck that edge in. Okay? So see how that tucked the edge in. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. How that's kind of like a hemmed edge, but you're not going to be able to see it, so it's not going to matter. <clears throat> now, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Same thing here. Kind of have to work quickly or that glue will dry. And so I'm just giving it a little bit of a hem. Now, we are, I'm going to put these two together. I think that's too fluffy like that. So I'm going to put these together. I almost did it with the other I don't want to do that. Okay, so see, I made a tube. I'm going to get some wire. <clears throat> okay, so I've got some wire here. I'm going to clip this wire, maybe. And I'm going to take one side of this. That, that was really the long way around what I just did. <laughs> I'm going to accordion fold that, and I'm going to take my wire. This is MacGyvering craft, MacGyver crafting, and I'm going to twist it around to secure it, okay? I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I want this part in the middle. And 
I'm gonna clip this. Okay, so I want this. right here okay and we'll fix it once we get it put on there okay so I'm gonna put a good dollop of glue right there hold that there and you're gonna use a lot of hot glue when you're making something like this guys so I'm putting hot glue around the flower stem okay you see how I'm letting it also hit the silk flower if you only put it on that green stem that green stem is gonna melt and your flower possibly could break apart okay so we're gonna do that just like that it's darling i'm gonna i'm so i'm setting my large flowers first okay you so so far let me show you what i'm gonna do with this i want to trim this up a little bit um let me trim the top Okay, trim that straight across, well kind of straight, you know, as straight as, as we can get it. And side, this one looked a little jagged. Okay. And, okay, now, I want this doing this accordion style I want a little poop coming out of the back okay so I've got this that's just what I have right now okay do you see in the back where it's kind of poofy where it was put together we like that and we're probably going to put a little flower back there but under it I want this fabric sticking out. So I am putting some fabric right in this little area right here. And I'm going to stick it in there. All of this will be covered up. So keep in mind anything that looks kind of messy is going to be covered up. Can you see these corners sticking out? We're going to tuck these corners. Okay. I want these corners tucked in here. And it's going to just make it a little more poofy. You know, a little poofier. Get some on a finger, but I don't want to. First of all, look at how cute that looks. I think I want tucked right in there. I got it. This flower is going to go back here. Again. I'm just putting a ton of glue on it, but I'm making sure I'm getting it on the silk flower because I want to make sure. So, so far, this is what we have. I want these little ones here. So let's fill these in a little bit and we're going to get the bling in here. I'm 
look at the bling. You guys, this would even be a pretty wedding veil. Um, or, you know, the topper of, for a wedding headdress. Headdress, is that what you call it? this is my favorite kind of creating you guys I just love it look at how pretty the pearls and the rhinestones and they come with a pin not all of them come with pins a lot of them do not all of them do but they're very easy to take off I just grab hold of the where it's on there and I twist it one way, twist it the other way, twist it one way, twist it the other way, and it pops right off. Gentle with them. I'm going to put hot glue on the bottom of this. I'm actually going to hold it over this to do this. Uh, let me show you. This is actually going to sit in the hot glue because I want this sticking up, out, just be peeking out of those flowers. Let me hold this right here. See, I just put it right there. And it still looks really pretty from this side. Okay, let me go into the front. I'm going to put bling. Oh, gosh, I thought I dropped it. I'm going to put these little blings right in the middle of each of the hot pink flowers. Okay. So you just get peaks of the basil. But that one looks perfect. Love that one. Okay, here we go. I'll do the same thing over here. Now we're going to add some feathers because I, de I decided I do want feathers. I want feathers. I want to take it all the way. Okay, so I'm going to just trim a bit of this boa. This boa is from Hobby Lobby. You can get them 50% off all the time. And... I'm just going to do a little bit of the feathers. <laughs> Guys, oh my goodness, wait till you see it, wait till you see it. there and there's the back again Are you guys I love it okay, so ready? you guys I'm ready for the derby totally dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.